Hello and welcome to The Wine Group. My name is Ezra James, Director of The Wine Group Australia, the home of the best wine sales team in Australia and home to the best value for money wines in the country. Uh, so we're going to be running a, a blind tasting today and going to be comparing three different types of Pinot Noir. Our team have randomly selected from three different regions and styles and I'm going to be putting my palate to the test. Uh, so these wines have been pre-poured by Sarah, our videographer, and I'm going to be stepping out of the room while she does a quick switcheroo so there's no funny business from me. So I'll see you soon. Alright, so we're going to try the wines from left to right. Um, so if we check out the, the colour of the first one, uh, we can see that it's got that sort of striking sort of medium red sort of purple colour. Uh, let's have a quick check of the nose. So the nose is, uh, is very restrained, sort of bouquet with some sort of spice and savoury notes. I'm getting some raspberry and, and cherry aromas in there as well. Let's have a quick taste. So the palette is sort of um, light to medium weight, it's got plenty of cherry tones, raspberry notes in there, and there's a really nice sort of playful spice with a charry sort of sort of oak influence, and the, and the finish is soft, but it drops off at the end. From the taste, I'm going to guess this is a cold climate Pinot Noir, maybe a Tasmanian or Mornington Peninsula Pinot, and I would score it in the low 90s, maybe a 94 points, as it's enjoyable, but it's nothing too special. Let's check out the second one. Uh, so the colour of this one is absolutely immaculate. Beautiful and sort of ruby red, it's just um, brimming from the glass. Uh, let's check out the nose. So the nose on this wine is earthy, it's complex, it's got aromas of sort of spice and hints of raspberries and plums. Uh, let's give the wine a try. So I'm getting plenty of sort of um, juicy concentration on the front palate, ripe plums, cherries, blackberries, and there's a subtle sort of earthiness in there as well, and a nice sort of spicy oak, which is complementing the sort of long and supple finish. If I was guessing, I would have this pinned as a Yarra Valley Pinot Noir. I would rate it at uh, 98 points. It's absolutely stunning, and it's far superior to the first one. Let's check out the last one. So the color of this is quite light. Uh, shades of sort of purples and ruby colours. Uh, those shades are adding sort of brightness to the colour as well. Um, let's check out the nose. Uh, so this is a, a highly aromatic wine. Uh, it's displaying aromas of sort of uh, the black cherry. I'm getting a real whack of spice including sort of cinnamon or there's some sort of uh, nutmeg or clove in there as well. Uh, let's try the wine. <coughs> So there is uh, plenty of sort of plump and red berry fruits giving way to sort of supple tannins and a really sort of lovely fresh acidity. Uh, it's a serious style with sort of depth and persistence on the finish and there is a, a hint of sort of vanilla and oak that's sort of lingering there in the background. Uh, this is a completely different style of wine to the other two and if I was to sort of guess I would have a pinned as say a New Zealand Pinot Noir, maybe a a Hawke's Bay or a Marlborough Pinot or maybe even a Central Otago because it's a bit fuller. Um, the wine is not offensive uh, but it just isn't my style. I would rate it 90 points. So let's unveil the wines and see what we've been drinking. Uh, so the, the first wine we've got is the Styx, the Arrow Valley Pinot Noir 2018 vintage. Uh, this wine is a staple in a lot of bottle shops. Um, ranges around a 20 to 25 dollars a bottle, and probably be on par with the rating I gave it. However, I did uh, I did actually get the region wrong. Um, so uh, all in all, though, a fantastic wine and, and a really great value purchase. Uh, the second wine, let's uh, try this. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so we've got. Uh, we've got the Dixon's Creek Estate, uh, Yarra Valley sort of Pinot Noir. That's uh, a 2017 vintage. Uh, the winery is actually home to two Jimmy Watson medalists. Uh, so you can see why this was the front runner. Uh, it's absolutely exceptional wine and would easily sell in the market for about $40 a bottle. And it's actually about 50% cheaper than any major bottle shop at the moment on our website. Uh, so this would be really hard to beat value for money. The last one. Uh, 
Uh, so the last one we've got is the Toy Toy uh, Central Otago Pinot Noir. Uh, so this one is solidly sold from about 16 to 25 in bottle shops. Uh, in my opinion, is overpriced. Uh, it doesn't really stand up to the price per bottle. It's a touch dull for me. Uh, I might have actually been a bit harsh on it, uh, giving it the, the 90 point rating, but compared to the others, it sort of simply isn't in the same caliber. Uh, you can find all these wines on oakroadestate.com.au or topdrop.com.au.